Welcome to a video where we describe and take the piss out of BFN maps in one sentence. Let's get started. Every game has at least one person dying to molten cheese because they overestimated how far their movement ability would take them. Welcome to the less cooler version of Z-Tech Factory, where outside of like two buildings, this place barely resembles a fucking factory. This place is known for two things. Sniper classes taking up either side of this elongated sight line, and absolutely zero people giving a shit about this brick rebuilding itself. The one map everyone praises, all because a funny wolf man sits so. This map is essentially a burning memory, reminding us of the past, back when times were simpler. We actually had hope for this franchise to thrive. Welcome to the time park of BFN, where instead of portals, everyone gets access to Hyper for free. This map looks nice I guess. The one map that actually encourages different strategies, purely because of what the water can be. 90% of pea shooter mains do this when a match starts in laggy acres. Snipers here are often harassed by flankers, as well as the occasional brainier. This point is essentially an imp main's wet dream. It's incredible how fucking one-sided this final objective is, yet PopCap thought it was fair and went with it anyway. This point exists. Legend speaks that a player once spiked their controller cause they missed out getting a 12-man team kill, all because the windmill blocked their path. This point is likely sponsored by pirates and cacti mains, given that these convenient holes exist for their drones to fly through. This final minigame would have at least been possible had this upgrade not existed. What happens on this first point usually depicts if the zombie team is either shit or the shit. At least one brainium every game flanks around the opposite side and takes everyone by surprise. This is where the Church of Acorn mains gather in this water fountain, discussing ideas on how to elongate their lives, as well as annoying the shit out of the enemy team. Plants either steamroll, or zombies steamroll. This point is more cramped than an orgy fest. At least one person gets thrown into the molten cheese, like that one scene from 300. Imp mains wet dream version 2. Plants either kill this thing in record time, or barely deal like 100 damage to it. You can get a veteran's discount if you remember back when the water used to just straight up not exist. This point also exists, I guess. This is meant to be about the objective, but I'm more interested in how the fuck a submarine of all things managed to get up here. The one final objective where it's actually fair game to both sides. Turning point is a rather interesting map in the sense that plants have to escort this lazy piece of shit all the way to this wall to blow it up. Yet this motherfucker is capable of jumps like this, so he should be able to escort himself. Though once again, the final objective is one sided as fuck. This has been a video purely to take the piss out of BFN maps for fun. Be sure to come back for the next episode in 2 weeks. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe for more shit like this. Have fun.